Hi, it's Yuri Oginski, and in today's video tip, I want to explain to you what happened during cross-examination of a podiatry expert, in this case in which we were just awarded $1.55 million. The witness came across as very credible. He had great credentials. He was board certified in podiatric surgery. However, one of the first few questions I asked him when I got up to cross-examine him was, Doctor, when the defense sent you all the records, they included a cover letter, right? And I asked him questions about that cover letter, about what was contained in it. I said, did you bring that letter to court? He said, absolutely not. I was told by my attorney not to bring anything to court. I said, doctor, but you know and you understand that if you had brought that letter to court, I would be able to see that letter and then ask you any questions about it. He's like, well, I don't know anything about that. My attorney told me not to bring anything. I said, doctor, you've testified three to four times a year over many, many years. You've testified in almost 75 to 100 cases. And he finally admitted that he knew that if he brought anything to court, I could look at it. I said, doctor, where is that letter now? He said, oh, I remember seeing it yesterday, last night. It's sitting on my desk in my office. So I said, excellent. So then you won't mind calling up your office and having somebody fax it over to the courthouse so that I can take a look at it. Oh, no, 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 it's not in my office. It's sitting in my car, in my office, and um, it can't be, uh, can't get to it. Really? Now, this was an immediate lie that I think everybody on the jury saw right through it. One of the factors in this case was that the defendant podiatrist, the doctor who performed surgery on my client, had horrible notes. They were computerized electronic medical records, but he had simply cut and pasted all over the place. Things were wrong, the procedures were wrong, instead of right foot, it was left foot. Different types of procedures were all wrong. So I asked this expert witness on cross-examination, I said, doctor, let me ask you a question. Would you agree that it's good podiatric practice to keep accurate records? His answer, I don't necessarily agree. It all depends on how you define accurate. I looked at him like he was crazy. I think the jury did too. I said, okay, let me ask you this question. Do you agree that it's good podiatric practice to keep complete records? His answer, very similar. He said, not necessarily. It depends on how you define complete. So then I asked him, I said, doctor, would you agree that it's good podiatric practice to keep detailed records? And again, he said, not necessarily. It all depends on how you define detailed. If he had simply turned around and admitted, yes, it's important to keep accurate, detailed, and complete records, I don't think he would have had a problem. But I think the jury resented the fact that he was playing word games. And that's it for today's video tip about something that happened during cross-examination on this podiatric case in which I was able to successfully obtain a verdict on behalf of my client for $1.55 million. I'm Jerry Oginski here in New York. Thanks for watching.